What's up everyone, welcome to your next tutorial in robotics and electronics. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this circuit. Now, uh, this is pretty much a circuit just to light up a LED. And just to show you guys that it is lit up, let me switch it off and on, off and on. Now what you need for this is of course a battery, your battery cables, an LED, any kind will do. A resistor, any kind will do depending on how bright you want your LED light. And of course, one jumper wire. So with that being said, let's get started. All right guys, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and take your battery and hook it up to your wires. And you can put it through the binding post if you want. I chose to just cause it helps stabilize it, but you don't have to. But once it's hooked up to your battery, go ahead and take the red wire from your battery, the positive terminal, and connect it into that red bus. And go ahead and take that black one and hook it into the negative bus. And what this does is instead of having to connect every five holes, it distributes the power, the positive power through here, and the returning negative power through here. So that way we don't have to worry about connecting each different hole. We have an easy access power strip all along our breadboard right here. So once you have your power strips, the next thing you want to do is take your resistor, let's see if I can get it focused in, take your resistor right there and hook it up from anywhere on the positive bus to any of these breadboard, breadboard holes. So I'm going to hook mine up right there. And again, make sure that one is in the positive, not the negative, and one is in your main breadboard on one of the holes. After that, what you want to do is take your LED light. Let's see if I can get this focused. Maybe not. There you go. And remember, the longer one is positive. So what I did is bend it because these have to be even or else it'll be kind of tilted on your breadboard. So take the bent one, which should be the longer one, and insert it into the one. See how this is inserted into the top hole? All alongside of it are all the wires that connect to it. If this is actually, if you can see, if you ever played Battleship, these are number, numbered uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 going down, and F, G, H, I, J going left to right. So anything in the first row is going to connect. So let's connect the positive one to the first row and connect your negative one anywhere else. I'm going to connect my negative one to its J5 and my positive one to J1. So now we have electricity flowing from the positive bus to the resistor to the LED light. And now the only thing we need to do is connect that negative terminal on LED light to our negative power bus and this is going to complete the circuit. Now once you connect the last jumper wire right there as you can see my LED light lit up. So let me explain to you guys one more time how this works. Let me get my trusty pointer pen. There we go. The electricity is flowing from this positive bus and it provides electricity for anything in this positive line right here. The only thing connected to it is this resistor right here. So the electricity flows through the resistor and it goes to any of the top line. Now the only thing connected to that top line is the LED light, the positive end of it. And that's what we wanted. So it flows through the positive end of the LED light through the negative and to escape it hits this jumper wire right here and remember, it doesn't connect to anything else because it's not in the same row. And it hops through the jumper wire, goes back to the negative, and completes the circuit. So that is your first circuit. Um, this is a very basic circuit. We'll be building more complex, one, complex ones. Blue. So that is your intro to breadboarding. Uh, stay tuned for my next tutorials. I just want to thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my contest. So again, thank you and I'll see you next time.